Welcome to Sparks of History, where Jewish history and world history meet. We are extremely pleased to have with us today Rabbi Jeffrey Sachs. Rabbi Sachs earned his master's from Yeshiva University's Bernard Revel Graduate School and received rabbinic ordination from Yeshiva University as well. Rabbi Sachs is an extremely popular educator, lecturer, and writer. Together with Rabbi Chaim Bravender, Rabbi Sachs created Atid, the Academy for Torah Initiatives and Directions in Jewish Education. Rabbi Sachs is also the editor-in-chief of Tradition, the highly regarded journal of Orthodox Jewish thought published by the Rabbinical Council of America. Additionally, Rabbi Sachs serves as the director of research at the Agnon House in Jerusalem. And today, appropriately, we will be discussing the life and writings of Nobel laureate Shai Agnon. Thank you, Rabbi Sachs, for joining us today. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, Ari, and thanks for your work at uh, Sparks of History. Thank you. Just to get started, a little bit about your background and how you became interested in Shai Agnon. Oh, well, that's a, a, a long and probably less interesting story for our listeners, uh, which I've told many times. And the interesting thing is that it never comes out uh, the same way twice. But the, the, short, the short answer is that uh, I came in Aliyah in the early mid 90s. And uh, I had grown up in suburban New Jersey in a home that was not uh, Jewishly observant, although it was uh, obviously culturally Jewishly connected. And in my kind of uh, journey towards uh, Jewish observance, among the very many things that I had encountered in uh, Jewish life and Jewish learning and Jewish literature, were the writings of Shai Agnon in, in translation, obviously. I could not have then read him in the original Hebrew. And it, uh, it enchanted me what he, was, what he was writing in the few stories that were then available in, in translation. And when I came on Aliyah in uh, 94, I almost accidentally uh, found myself in possession of a, a particular volume of his in Hebrew. And I gave it a try uh, to read, but uh, like many Olim Chadashim, uh, uh, new arrivals here in the in the Hebrew state, my Hebrew was not in a state which I could have could have uh, made my way through Agnon. But over time, it improved, and I continued to read. And uh, a number of years ago, I had this uh, kind of strange, uh, serendipitous uh, episode where I had realized I, I had I had read quite a bit of Agnon's collected writings, but in a very dilettantish uh, way. And I, I, I had the idea that you could do the whole thing. You could read the whole of uh, Shai Agnon's uh, writings. There are two sets. There are the volumes that were published in his lifetime, which are nine volumes, and then an additional 14 volumes, actually, that were published posthumously. Uh, so I started off with the, the you know, the originals, the original set, and it's possible to actually read all of Agnon's writings uh, and to also read the worthwhile commentary that has accrued uh, to it over the years. And uh, I'll make the story even shorter here. At a certain point, I somehow became recognized as someone who had something interesting to say about Agnon's writings. And I started uh, teaching here at the Agnon house. I'm sitting uh, you know, in the Zoom virtual reality of Agnon's library, which is in the Telpiot neighborhood of, of Jerusalem. But I began uh, an involvement here at this institution, which is uh, the, the home in which he lived from 1931 until his death in 1970, and where he wrote you know, very, very many of his, uh, his prize-winning uh, stories and novels. And at a certain point, I took on a more formal role. And as you mentioned, I'm the director of research here at the Agnon House, and we help uh, both the academic world, scholars, people that are doing uh, academic work from doctoral students through uh, the great professors, uh, as well as uh, as well as everyday readers who have questions about what they what they encounter, students who have to prepare to read Agnon's writings for the matriculation examinations here in the Israeli school system, and people from all around the world, Jewish and non-Jewish, who encounter his writings. 